Throughout the last four seasons, 500 contestants have competed on Fear Factor. Most have gone home losers. Tonight, I quit Carpe Diem. Six of those losers have been brought back for a second chance at $50,000. I'm Joe Rogan. Welcome to Second Chance Fear Factor. The stunts you're about to see were all designed and supervised by trained professionals. They are extremely dangerous and should not be attempted by anyone, anywhere, anytime. The reason for coming here would be to regain my good name as a Viking. Perhaps the loafers weren't the best idea, or if I had a little bit better traction, maybe that would give me the added bonus to take it to the next round. I oh, thought God, the shoes man. would not be an issue. As Eric the Viking would say, Timor rest known veritatis. Fear is not a factor. When I was on Fear Factor, it was the first season, and the show had never even aired. I knew I might have to eat something a little bit gross, but buffalo testicles? I didn't even know buffaloes had testicles. Now that I know what I'm signing up for, coming on Fear Factor, it makes me wonder what's wrong with me, really. Even strangers I run into the street, they saw my old episode. First they all go, geez, you're the boat guy, that, that hurt. The first stunt, I wiped out. This time around, destroy. This is Rocky too, baby. I'm coming home with the belt. I'm going for the gold. I want the money. I have a lot more confidence coming into the second episode. On you know, my first episode, I lost $50,000 just by a few seconds. But my only fear is that I'll give 100%, complete the stunt, and yet still come up short. The first time I was on Fear Factor, I was just a little bit nervous and excited and wasn't really concentrating on what was ahead or what I was doing. Yeah. Bam. I'm all in, kid. Now that I'm back for a second episode, you know, my strategy is just to stay a little bit more focused, less excited, which is gonna be hard, but I'm back because I'm sexy. They here because they losers. When my family saw me on Fear Factor, my mother, my brother, they were both so completely mortified. Shut up, you little prison bitch, because I'm not going to take that. Oh. My mother told me that, how can you be so cruel and insulting? I did not raise this mean girl. I don't care what anyone thinks. I want to win the $50,000. What's up? Hey. What's going on? Hey. 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 Welcome hey. back. Hey. Yeah, yo, you yeah. keep your shirt on this time. <laughs> I still let you feel the chest there, though. It's all right. I don't well, hey, welcome back, all of you. You six are our most lovable losers from the past episodes. All right. You have all been brought back for a second chance at $50,000. Since this is second chance, Fear Factor, we have kicked all the stunts up a couple notches. All right, we're ready. Are you ready? Yeah, we're ready. ready. Your first stunt? <laughs> Eric, are you ready? Dude, oh, I'm ready. The loafers no. are back in business, Joe <laughs> Rogan. Ah. Here is your first stunt. Those two helicopters are going to simultaneously lift that beam over the water. You will have to traverse back and forth from one side How does it feel to be back on Fear Factor? It's, uh, it's exciting, Joe. On the first show, you came in blind. You had no idea what you were getting into. The show hadn't even been aired yet. 
You saw those buffalo testicles, mm -hmm. and that was a little too much for you. If I had to imagine what a testicle would taste like, that is exactly what it would be. Now, how do you feel about this crazy stunt? I think this I got a good shot at it. This is a pretty nutty one. I'm not, I'm balance? not, yeah, I was a gymnast, so, you know. Were you really? Yeah. Okay. I, I'm just worried about going first. Good luck. Way high. Thanks. All right. So speak up, Farrah Fawcett. What's cracking? You guys have more fun. What's hey, going down? Hey, I got my game plan on. You got your game I'm plan I'm just over on. here, quiet, minding my own no, business. No, 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 no. You're not going to want to mess up your hair. You're not going to take that from her. <laughs> you can take it. Right, I can take it. So Eric, the Viking, back with the penny loafers, Back with bro. the loafers. What's with the loafers, though? What's with this outfit? The loafers? You kidding me? <laughs> it's the skateboard deck tape. They're coming back a second time. So what's up with the loafers? You going to jump with those? You know, this is me. They said dress what you would feel appropriate to do feel? so. Come on, man. That's not Viking attire. Outward appearances can some... be deceiving. And I hope you can handle the truth, because I'm bringing it down. Oh. You know what? You could just flash back to season two. Here I am again. Yeah, bring it on! I'm ready to get it going downtown. I'm going downtown. Downtown. <laughs> Dude, you throwing punches might be one of the funniest things I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Happy to get to see Alyssa screw up. She's weak. She's not gonna be able just to do listen it. Listen to you. You just haven't Whoa. changed at all. Did you see that prison bitch? Oh, you are gonna fail miserably. The money is mine. Taking it home back to New York. This is the first time this stunt has ever been done in aviation history, where they've had two helicopters side by side completing something like this. This is going to be a crazy show. Crazy? Crazy, yeah. Three helicopters circling over your head. That's got to freak you out, it's huh? It's physically exhausting. Yeah? But I'm psyched. I think I did really well for myself. You got your second chance. You did a good job. You got four flags and 155.6. Mandy, if you do better than that, you will advance automatically. All right. Are you ready to do, do this? All right, ready. Come with me. All right. I can't believe that all of you guys put a coat on. You actually think it's that cold See, outside? I'll talk to you in about 20 minutes, buddy. <laughs> you guys just love to talk, 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 and say so nothing. So say something poignant, please. All the ears are on you. You're a loser. You're an idiot. <laughs> Mandy? Yes? A lot of stuff's happened since the last time you went Fear Factor. You got married. You had a child, little Victoria. Story. Seven months ago, she gave birth. Is this your inspiration? Definitely. Come back on the She's show? my motivation. That's why I'm back. Yeah. I'm trying to win some money. All you have to do is do better than Alyssa, which is four flags and 155.6. You do that, you move on to the second round of Second Chance Fear Factor. I'm ready. Good luck to you. Thank you, Joe. You're welcome. 
All right, give me some predictions. What do you think about Mandy? Pretty good. I think Mandy is motivated. She is a woman of few words, and I think she'll take all six. Don't you want her around for the rest of the show, Mandy. though? Yeah. She's very attractive. Yeah. She's a married woman with a child. Yeah, yeah okay? I know, but I can still so appreciate a beautiful woman. Are you married yourself, sir? I am married. Watch your words. Okay. So please. <laughs> Mandy's time to beat is four flags and 155.6. This is the craziest thing I've ever had to do in my entire life, but my motivation is my daughter. All right, here we go! She's off! Wow, she's moving quick. She's moving a lot quicker than you. Come on. Woo! She's got one up, headed for number two. The longer she's on it, the rockier the rock. your four and automatically advances. This is hard. Look at her rocket. Whoa! Stay low. She automatically advances. That girl is an animal. She knows she's in. This is all for bragging rights. Come on, girl. Oh, she got the six one. And Well, Mandy has advanced automatically by getting six flags. And now, Gina, it is up to you. What do you guys think? She gonna blow this bus pass got her name on it. Bus you know pass what? has a <laughs> name on it. Say it's You know what? I'm staying. I don't care what you two losers say. I am staying. Carmen? See what happens, baby. You ready, Gina? I'm ready. Come on, let's do it. Let's go. Mm. She is like a monster, though. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome back. Thank you. I'm glad to be back. Are you glad to be back? This is my second chance, and I am not leaving here without that $50,000. Now, on the first show, you had to eat animal genitalia. Yes, I ate a water buffalo penis. Suck oh, so no. it down. There you go. You're going to do it. Force it down. You're halfway there, and you got more oh. than that. How did your family and friends feel about you doing that? You know what? I did it with a smile. Well, like did. gag and a smile. Time to beat is four flags at 155.6. You do right. that, you move on. Alyssa goes home. Ready to do this? I'm ready to do this. Good luck. Thanks. Ladies and gentlemen, well, welcome back, Mandy. Well done. Yeah. How are you feeling? I'm very excited. You're looking a little blue. A little it cold? Is. It's a little cold. A little chilly in there? You are in automatically right. up top. Yeah. Alyssa, you're on the bubble, baby. I tried my best, so. You just got to hope Gina screws up. All right, give me some predictions. I don't like any girl with a stomach carrier than mine. Oh, oh you did not say that. I bow in the presence oh of greatness. My goodness. Oh, I can't me. believe you went there. <laughs> Time to beat his four flags in 155.6. And she's off. There she goes. Stay low, stay low, because this thing was just starting to swing back and forth, and I started losing my balance. The only way she can beat you is to get five flags. The time is too far off. She's already at a minute and 30. That's number three. The wind from the propellers was the absolute worst factor. It was just whipping you, throwing you off balance. So no matter how fast I was going, I could feel the wind just going through my body. Look at that. She's paralyzed up there and trying to throw me off. And at the same time, I could see how powerful the wind was. I could see the ripples in the water. If she can place this one, it's over for you, Alyssa. have a huge disadvantage going first. And I am not trying to be a sore loser. However, if you were to watch this episode in slow motion, I was the most proficient up there. I got robbed. Oh, Congratulations. I'm so happy. Are you so happy? Oh, yes, honestly, it is. 
frightening, but exciting at the same time. So you made it through, you got five flags. Ah, Everyone. Ah, in your seat. <laughs> oh my God. Let's see what's up with the man. Carmen, ready to lead it on, Big Daddy. Oh, all right, man. Come, Come on, on, brother, let's go. We're going to send Carmen home. <laughs> How's it feel to be back, my friend? Uh, it's, I'm happy to be back, baby. I'm ready. I you ready? I'm so ready. I trained so hard for this. You lost 36 pounds. Four hours of working out a day. Boxing, wushu, krav maga, jiu-jitsu, yoga. Any, I'll try anything. Swimming, He's climbing. He's an animal. Running, lifting, everything. It was very important for you to redeem yourself, wasn't it? Oh, uh, yeah. Worst wipeout in the history of Fear Factor. Yeah. Take a look at this wipeout. Seriously, I watched this about 50 times. What did it look like to you when you watched it at home? Uh, pretty bad. There was angles on there I didn't even know I had, you know what I mean? All right, Carmen, you know what's up, buddy. You gotta I set know. the bar for the guys. Good luck. No brutal wipeouts today, kids. All right, he's off. Here he goes. So Carmen had terrible balance on the first show. What is this? It's a disgrace! I did it. I was terrified. My knees are knocking together like two bowling balls. He's working it. He's working it now. The first time you get across, you think, I gotta do this six times? No, You're but... trying to keep your legs 90% of the time. Just stop shaking so you can do the damn stunt because you're so damn scared. That thing's all over the road now. Look at it swaying. That's five flags in 528.2 seconds. Look at that thing moving now. It's like a pendulum. Check out the tattoo in the back. 120% yeah, fudge, baby. ladies yeah. and gentlemen. Yeah. In case there was any confusion, first time you ever on Fear Factor, you blew it yeah. because on, you man. had a pause in the middle of it, show off. Oh. Now I'm, I'm a little bit more focused. 50,000! You know what you gotta do? And I'm moving. Good luck to you, dude. Dig it, baby. Uh. by like the fifth flag. I'm so cold, I didn't realize that I let the flag go until I seen it flying in the water. I shot the flag, he dropped it! Carmen, oh. you advance automatically! Oh. What is your madness screw up? I he got five flags in 302.3. You look pretty good until you dropped that flag. Oh, I didn't even feel it. My hands are so numb. Fudge, yeah, you think you're going home? It's hard If you join in this loan for us, I'm staying. Eric the Viking, you know exactly what you have to do, sir. You I'm must ready. get six flags at your own pace. You ready, Eric? I am ready, Come with Joe. me. Let's go. It's been a while since you had the unfair factor. It's been a while. Now, what were you thinking when we called you up and you said, Eric? We would like you to come back for second chance fear. Factor. I thought it was a joke. You worked out for two solid weeks. I'm in pretty good shape now. I would, I would imagine. <laughs> good luck. Thank you, Joe. Appreciate right. it. Eric the Viking, ladies and gentlemen. We to pray with our longer. Life is short, but talent is immortal. That's it. Come on, taking it downtown. The Viking is back and better than ever. Come on, Eric, please send Fudge home. I am a bad man. 
The first time I was on Fear Factor, my only fear was that of failure. Now that I've come back, I've replaced that fear with confidence and sheer determination. He's not wearing penny loafers this time. Let's see if he's got any better luck. All right, if Eric doesn't get five flags faster than 302.3 seconds, then he's going to have to get six to move on. He's off. He's taking his time. He's doing a curly shuffle. He's doing it surfer style. Look at him. He hooked the flag on his belt. Whatever it takes. It took him 35 seconds to get the first flag. The helicopters were starting to pitch, and the ramp was moving literally like a 20 to 30 degree angle, and the wind was blowing the sound and the volume from all three helicopters circling around you. All right, he's going back with number three. The noise is overwhelming. The wind is blowing just intently in your face. You're completely disoriented. All right, at this point in time, he absolutely has to get six flags. There's only way he's going to beat you. I did better than my first performance, but to still go out crashed and burn in the fist of fury your first round, it takes some of the wind out of your sail. Eric the Viking lives on in all of us on a daily basis, and especially Eric Seastead. And when I get back to Philadelphia, you'll see me out and about, and it will be Eric the Viking. I'll leave you with some parting thoughts. Vita brevis ars longa kertus. Life is short. But talent is immortal. We are down to four. Crazy. More people moving on to the next That's round right. of second right. chance fear factor. Congratulations to you all. Now let's get the hell out of here and see what tomorrow has in store for you. I'm feeling confident. There's really no doubts in my mind right now. I think I can do anything after I completed that one stunt with the helicopters and the rig yesterday. I think it has put me a little bit closer in my mind to the 50,000. When I returned home after my first appearance on Fear Factor, I was beating myself up repeatedly and I hated being a failure. The stunt is usually a mental competition. I definitely think I'm mentally strong in this area. I eat the reindeer testicles, and I think I can eat just about anything they put in front of me. I just have to think it's chicken. I could honestly say I don't think there's any way that worked harder than I did. It's not so much about winning. It's the proving to everybody it's the type of person I am. I'm going to do it, plain and simple. Have a seat, everybody. OK, we're ready. Well, Carmen, you are the only one out of this group that's never had to eat anything. That's right. Fast. Some of you have eaten buffalo and deer genitalia. Oh, look, what she's happened to the Some of you have eaten a little bit of pig uterus. Oh, my God. Don't get sick. Carmen, tonight you are in for a treat that can only be found on the Fear Factor menu. This is the main ingredient inside this mixer of your Fear Factor shake. Here comes the pain. Blended maggots. Oh. oh. At least they're blended. Here's how the next stunt is going to work. Oh. <laughs> You're going to have to suck out the blended maggots from this bowl and you OK? I'm fine. <laughs> you just gagged already. Mm. And you're going to have to spit them into this glass filled with flies filling it up to the top and drowning all the flies. Once the glass is filled to the top and you've drowned all the flies, you will then have to down your fear factor blended maggot and fly wow. shake. Ooh. The three of you that can down this shake the fastest 
We'll move on to the finals and have one more chance at $50,000. Dun dada. The person who drinks their fly <laughs> maggot milkshake Woo! the slowest is going home. I can do this. I can do this. No, you can't. A little clammy there? A little clammy. <laughs> yes, I can. A little clammy? Yeah. Whoever finishes their shake the fastest is going to get to pick tomorrow's order. We have randomly selected oh. today's order, and Carmen, you are lucky number one. Set the bar, yeah. baby. Set the bar. You ready? It's protein, dog. That's all it is. You were gagging when I was describing this. You know what? I'm going to be fine. It's all in my head. You it. did eat a buffalo penis. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's go. OK, well, you can't be too cocky, because you haven't eaten anything before. You're talking to a crazy man. <laughs> all right, Carmen, I'm going to count you down. Here we go. Good luck. In three, two, one, go. Go, baby, go, baby, go, 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 go. Hell yeah, do it, baby. You got to push harder than that, dog. Come on, baby. Push, push, push. Eat that maggot. 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 You're spinning all over me. No, I'm not. It's almost there, man. All right, still. Now pick it up, shake it. OK. That's good. Down it. Down it. Down it. They're all on the counter. Uh, Sit down. It's all on the counter, dog. Oh, my goodness. Yes. Three He's seconds. sucking down <laughs> blended maggots and flies, ladies Three and seconds. gentlemen. What do you want? No. Shut up. Wait, no. You are yes. good. You're screaming right in my ear. That's what he does. Come on, Carmen. Suck it down, dog. Look away. Suck the maggots down, dog. Come on, oh. be a man about it. <laughs> and you was hungry. Time. <laughs> I'm gonna puke that. <laughs> I did it, am I done? <laughs> yes, my man! <laughs> this is now officially the closest I've ever come to puking. <laughs> Gina, you had a harder time with it than he did. You know what, I'm gonna be fine. Really? No. You don't look like you're gonna be fine right now. I don't oh, think God. so. You don't understand <laughs> what kind of an animal you have right next to you. You're my sister world! I ain't playing with you! You have Sucker. sitting right next to you the greatest trash talker in the history of Fear Factor. No one comes close to the power of fudge. Open it! You suck! Oh, oh, yeah. Please! Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. She's too loud, man. <laughs> Carmen, congratulations. A staggering time of 219.4. I'm so thrilled. Mandy, how are you? Not so good. I know you've had some experience with some pretty nasty stuff. You drank the 100-year-old eggnog, and you ate reindeer testicles. I mean, is this that much worse than that? I think so. You think so? There's your motivation right there, Victoria. Yeah, I don't know if my husband will let me kiss her when I get home, but. I think if you've gone Daddy, through childbirth, you can get through anything. That's what I think. Here we go. In three, two, one, go. Oh, do it. Uh, you got your bigger chunks than that. There you Come go. Come on, blow it, baby. Blow it. You're going too slow. Oh, my goodness. 45 oh. seconds in. You're doing great. Oh, you're almost on. there. Take chunks, Mandy, baby. you're going to be able to beat his Take time. Chunks. A little more to go. Oh, Come on, baby. Girl. Stinky breath with you, little stinky breath, little girl. Go ahead, baby. All right, shake it, shake it. Oh, Down, God. go, go. Go ahead. Suck it, suck it, suck it, maggot juice. Maggot juice. Mandy, you're doing great. Tastes so good. Oh, good for you. Oh, Mandy, you're showing great determination. Oh, my God, there's flies hanging from your mouth. You just passed Carmen's time, so Carmen, you are in automatically. Congratulations. Because you, this is definitely not lady like. Well, for a little while, she's not gonna be lady. You're, half, you're practically done. You no. done. Get in there and do it. Oh, you got it. You're Come there. On, just swallow. Andy, you're doing great. You're swallow. Good. You still got a ton more to drink. You okay, got maggots no. and flies all no, over your face. No, you're fine, Mandy. You know she's not you gonna be able to make it. You still got a ton more to drink. You got it. You got so much That's more to it. drink. She did it. <laughs> oh God. All right, Mandy, your time was 519.5. Yes. I'm proud of you. Yes. I can't believe yes. you did it. <laughs> your your turn. Oh. First of all, Carmen, congratulations. You have automatically made oh, it. Oh, yeah! Good job, my all friend. Right. Mandy, congratulations. You did a really good job. While you were doing it, Gina was having a harder time watching you do it than you were drinking. She has no clue what it's like. Well, we already know that Mandy wants to take care of her child's education. Okay. We already know that Carmen wants to buy his love of fiance a ring. Mm -hmm. We know that Fudge has got a lot of bills. <laughs> Gina, what are you planning on doing with the money? I plan to donate it to charity. So everyone, <laughs> don't <laughs> want to on me, please. Don't lie. Liar, liar, Maggie, don't no. fire. <laughs> you ready to do this? Yes. OK, time to beat is 519.5. In three, two, 
one, go. Go, Jesus. Go, Jesus. You can't do it. Do it. Yeah. <laughs> You're gonna suck up these blended maggots from this bowl and then spit them into this glass, drowning the flies while filling it to the top. Then you must use the straw to drink the entire blended maggot and fly shake. That's Keep so going, gross. Gina. You must uh, drop down. Oh, uh, you're messing yes, up, Gina. That's my five minutes right there. Good God, That's Gina. like, open your eyes. See what maggots you sucking on. God, that's nasty. Uh, uh, all right, you're up to the lid. Pick it up and shake it. it. Suck it down. I couldn't swallow a drop of that. It would just taste so horrible. Are you going to quit? No. I did not want to be a loser. That is not me. You're probably an eighth of the way done, and you've already been doing this for 12 minutes now. Am I at least halfway? You're not even a quarter. I Gina. give up. I give up. Give up. Continued success for you and your volunteer work. Thanks for coming on the show, but that's it for you. Bye-bye. I got that bus pass. Don't forget it, honey. I do give Mandy and Carmen so much credit, because it takes an extraordinary person to do that, so I blew it. All right, you ready to do this? Can I get sexy on? Yes. Oh, how many guys you know that's going to drink some maggot juice? Rip it off. I got to be sexy. Uh, uh, got to be sexy. Uh, Fudge, you know what you got to do? You have no time constraints on you here. All you have to do is finish. But if you want to be able to pick tomorrow's order, you must do it faster than Carmen's time of 519.4. Here we go. In three, two, one, go. <laughs> Damn nasty. Oh, God. Go again. Oh, not again. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, fudge. Carmen, you're an animal, dude. How'd you do this so fast? For real. Oh, <laughs> for real, he said. <laughs> I told you it was nasty. He said for real. <laughs> Just a tiny bit more. That's good. All right, pick it up, shake it. Shake it. Like a salt shaker. You got a minute oh, 19 to go. God. Oh. How dare you. I was trying to suck the maggot juice up out of the container. I had to just grab every upper body strength that I could muster up and just trying to like choke it down. To go that far and to just quit would have killed me. Uh, Thank you, mother, may I have another? It's protein. Remember, it's protein. It's the nastiest shake I've tasted, though, baby. <laughs> Mm. Oh, I can't believe this is a real show on NBC. Oh, no. America, this could be our Emmy. <laughs> Once you drink this, just imagine how fly you'll be. Here it come, baby. <laughs> Down it. Congratulations, you got the longest time, but it doesn't matter, you got in. Gina quit, it's down to you three guys. Let's get the hell out of here and see what tomorrow has in store for you. Keep it gangster. It's definitely a lot of pressure because don't nobody want to lose twice. Be on national TV and lose twice has to be embarrassing. I think I'm ready. I know I'm ready because, you know, I want the 50,000. This is what I wanted. This is what I came here for. I wanted to make it to the last stunt. I think because the stunts have been so difficult and because I've been through so much this time on this episode that the $50,000 is really hitting home. I may not be the biggest, strongest, most balanced or whatever. Yeah, you know, I might be an underdog, but I think I'm the best well-rounded. The advantage of being able to pick the order is I have control. That way I could just let everybody do what they're gonna do and just beat them. What's up? What's cracking, Jojo? What's going on? Hey. 
Welcome to the final stunt. Congratulations to you all for making it here. Two of you are gonna go home a loser one more time, and one of you is finally gonna win $50,000 and become Fear Factor second chance champion. Are you ready to see your final stunt? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Here it is! Oh my god! Whoa! You'll be seated in that car as this train comes racing down the tracks. On go, you will race your car down the street, hit that pipe ramp, and launch your car over the speeding train. Whoa. Whoever launches their car the furthest is going to become second chance Fear Factor champion. Nice, baby, nice. Carmen, since you drank the shake the fastest, you get to pick today's order. Who's going first? My main man, Fudge. Let's do it, You're up, baby. Come on. Bam, oh, baby. Whoa. <laughs> Let him go first since he hasn't had to go first in uh, any stunts whatsoever. That's good. All right, Fudge, this is a good stunt for you? I love this, baby. I love to go fast. This is all I, this is all I think about, baby. I got so think many tickets, it. I need to be in trouble. This is kind of freaky. 50, it's all you, buddy. 50, Set the bar 000. high. 50, good luck. Yay, yay. I think he'll do well. He's yeah. crazy. Ah, ah. You know, I'm holding my head up high to the sky because that's how I'm going to fly. Yay. Train is barreled down the track. Engines are on. Fudge is on his way. Here he goes. Oh, oh, my God. God. Oh. You better not back off that gas, sister. Oh, my God. All right, we're going to get a measurement, pull Fudge out of the car, and then get you ready to do it, Mandy. Man, it was the best thing I could ever think of in my whole life. I feel good about it. Oh, mama, I made it, baby. It was just like pedal to the metal and just concentrate and keep the wheel steady. When I hit that ramp, it just took me for a swirl. And when I came down in the boxes, it smashed pretty hard. <laughs> I didn't close my eyes at all, so I, I did see my world flip upside down. All right. <laughs> Put your blanket on, baby. I love it. It was nice. It was nice, baby. Your distance is 54.6. Ah, that's shady. I think. What are you talking about? You hit the ramp about as perfect as possible. I tried. I, was, I got up there. I was like. I'm getting kind of cockeyed because of the helmet and everything, and, and then you know I'm kind of me and you we got that height thing. I'm told you. Me, did you get it so, with the tippy toes? So I'm in there with the toes like this. It's such a rush. How you feel when you're in the air? You don't feel like nothing. You feel like Superman without the S on your chest. Big L. Fudge yeah. flying. The fudge factor, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Do not put your blinker on. Ain't nobody trying to get over on you. Mandy, let's do this. Okay. Come on, sister. Time to win some money. Ooh, baby. Mandy, this is it. I'm ready. This is your big chance. OK. Are you a good driver? I think I am, but everyone Ooh. says I'm not, so everyone? I'm really not sure. Well, the good thing is a good driver would probably not do this, right? I'm just going to floor it. Just going to floor it? I got one bus pass. You might have to hitchhike if I had to give it to her, though. All you have to do is beat 54 feet 6 inches. You do that, you send Fudge home, and all you have to do is worry about Carmen. OK. Good luck. Thank you. All right. You think she'll have the guts to floor it? When you see that train, it kind of makes you like, whoa, is this really safe? All right, train's coming down the track. Here we go. All right, there she goes. That's real close, dude. I feel like that's the best I could have done because I slammed on the gas and I never let up. That's as fast as I could get the car to go. When I hit the ramp, it was kind of rough. And then they're just flying through the air and I just, I felt like I was flying forever. And then it was like hitting a concrete wall. I mean, glass flying everywhere and I'm totally upside down. Mandy! Hey. How was it? It was awesome. It was fun. So what do you think? I don't know. 
You've competed in six Fear Factor stunts so far. And Fudge, you had the first show won, but you got cocky. Yeah, and you cost yeah, yourself the victory. I did, though. This time, Mandy beat you. Uh, 55 uh, feet, uh, nine uh, inches. Uh, Congratulations. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> You're a great guy. Fudge. Uh, it's been a hell of a good time having you on the show, man. Great All to see right, you again. Sorry right. it didn't work out for I'm you. Going, baby. Take that bus pass out bus and get pass, to walking. Right. All right, man. <laughs> I don't feel like second time, second lose or anything like that. This is a game, and this is the kind of game that I like to play. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose, you know? And if you don't understand that, then you don't belong in a game like this. Carmen, this is it. This is what I came for. This is the very end. I made it all this way. I'm ready to go. Do you think she backed off the gas at all? No, I think she went pedal to the metal. And I think all she went the ramp the right way? As best she could. All you need is an inch, man. Yeah, so Carmen. I keep telling the ladies, all I need is an inch. Ugh. It's all set out for you, my friend. 55 feet, nine and a half inches, that's your mark to beat. You do that, and you are the second chance Fear Factor champion. I do it, it sounds. Good luck. I'm just hoping he can hit the ramp in the right place. All right, Mandy, this is it. 55 feet, nine and a half inches. That's your distance. He beats that. He is a second chance Fear Factor champion. If not, it's all you. Here we go. Train's bowing down the track. This is it. Nice. Ooh. Oh, Carl. That is right there? <laughs> yeah, baby! Mandy. Yeah, baby! Sorry. Yeah. You went way past your mark. He gave you the second chance. Hey, it's all Nice I having do. you on the show again. Thanks. Take it easy. All right, thank you. Bye. Bye. I did it! I came back and I did it! You went from being the biggest loser in Fear Factor history to being the winner of Second Chance Fear Factor. You got past the helicopter balance beam. You got past the fly and maggot shake. You got the greatest distance here. And you are our Second Chance Fear Factor champion. Congratulations. And evidently, fear is not a factor for you. <laughs> Saturdays at 7, only on Shiller. Scary good. We're going to need a lot of therapy. Chiller presents Bunny Man. Coming up next, only on Chiller. Scary good.